see you again. You know, first thing today I thought we should talk about are some of the people that live around our neighborhood. Now, we've done that before. We've talked about the policeman that helps you when you get lost and uh, all the mailman that brings your mail and and uh, a lot of those people that I think might be a good idea to talk about. Uh, hey, you ever talk about the mud man? I, I beg your pardon? I said, what's the matter? Don't you hear? I said, do you ever talk about the mud man? Yeah, no. I mean, sure, yes, I hear well, but I, no, I've never talked about a mud man. I've I don't know what a mud man is. You never heard of a mud man? I never, never heard of a mud you man. You don't know what a mud man is? I don't, don't know what a mud man is. What's a mud man? A mad mud man delivers a mud. What else? <laughs> well, I, 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 a mud man delivers mud, but who would he deliver it to? The grouches everywhere, of course. Oh, a mud man delivers mud to grouches. I sure, well, it. listen, I got to get back to work. Excuse me. You got some mud to deliver, huh? Right. I see. You might check out Oscar. He'd probably like some of it. Have you ever heard of anything like that around your neighborhood? Have you got a mud man that delivers things around your neighborhood? we I'd never heard of one here. Now go away. Don't bother me. I don't want any, whoever it is. It's me, Dum Dum, the mud man. Oh, the mud man. Oh, you're buttering me. Oh, glad to hear it. Yeah. Hey, you need any mud today? Mud? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could use some mud. Uh, give me about a quart. Homogenized. Qu right. One quart homogenized mud. I gotta get down here and get my one. Coming up. There oh. you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that looks like good stuff. Oh, yeah. Good quality. Good, good. Yeah. Oh, you better let me have about a pound of dust, too. Pound of dust? Okay, yeah. just a minute. <laughs> Yeah, give it to you in this rag. It's really full of dust. <coughs> yeah, don't shake it all out, late man. Hey, I don't lose yeah. the stuff. I want to yeah. get it all over my piano. Good and dusty. Mm. Yeah, now, uh, how are the rocks today? Oh, the rocks are really rotten and broken and dirty. How many you want? Three. Okay, coming mm. up. Keep them down here. Good. In my Make boots. sure they're really icky ones. Yeah, oh, they're really lousy. There you are. Oh, good, good. Yep, chip the old Steinway. Yeah, right. Yeah. Good. Uh, hey, psst. What? Come here. Got a special today. You got a special? Yeah. What's the special? Glop. Glop? Yeah, we got a special load of really icky glop. Beautiful. Yeah. I'll take a pound. One pound of icky glop. Hey, yeah. the glop's out in the truck. I'll be right back. No, I'll wait. How about that? A mud man that delivers dust and mud and, and glop. One, two, three, four.
or fish. One, two, three, four. Four wind of toys. One, two, three, four. Four arms. One, two, three, four. From her cozy sun-filled kitchen in Goat Corners, New Hampshire, we bring you the answer lady. And here she is, the lady with an answer to everyone's problems, Granny Fanny Nusselrode. Oh, yes, land sakes. Hello there, Mr. Cutie Pie's announcer. Would you like to have a bite of my hamburger, hmm? Not right now, Granny. Right now, it's time to get to our first question, which comes from a lady from Slippery Rock, who says, strangely enough, Dear Granny, sometimes uh, when me. I eat hamburgers, I have trouble getting the ketchup out of the bottle and onto the hamburger. Can you help? Why, land sakes, yes, my dear, I can help. Oddly enough, Granny was just about to put the ketchup on her own hamburger this very minute. And so I will show you how we go about this now. Now, the question as I understand it is, how do you get the ketchup out of the bottle and onto the hamburger? Well, the answer to that is, just be patient. And sooner or later, old Mr. Ketchup will come out of the bottle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sooner or later. It's, and, uh, it's not coming out, Granny. Oh, you noticed that too, Mr. Sharp Eyes announcer. Yes, well, um, um, oh, Granny knows why the old ketchup isn't coming out of the bottle. It is because I am not shaking the bottle. Now, when we shake the bottle, it will come right out, 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 out. <laughs> it's still not coming out, Granny. I can see that. Well, let's see. Um, I think the why it isn't coming out is because I am not hitting the bottle. Hmm. Uh, come Granny. On out now. Oh, come on out, Mr. Ketchup. Or Granny. Granny will tell everyone how nasty you are. Hmm. Uh, well, come on. Uh, Sit here. Granny. A few little taps here. Hmm. Granny, uh, I think if you take the top off the bottle, you'll find that the ketchup will come out. It, it will? Most probably. Hmm. Let me see here. Well, I guess we don't need this old top. Well, let's try it now. That might work. Hmm, you might have something there. There. Oh, my, it comes right out. Oh, heavenly days. Isn't that amazing? Why, it's just wonderful. It just pours right uh, out. Yes, folks, well, the way to get the ketchup out of the bottle is to take the today. top off the bottle. So until next time, farewell from the answer lady. Oh, my, it's all over my toes. I should have worn my boots. Oh, it's getting into the rug. Oh, my poor poor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. 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 Four heads. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four heads. Once again. One. One. Two. Two. two three. Three. Four. Four. Yeah. 
what's the score? Four! That's a bore. <laughs> now it's your turn. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. three four. Four. Beautiful. Mm. Now count these. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, how many is this? Four. Very good. How many is this? Four. Very good. How many is this? Four. Now, how many are there? Four. Yay! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! It's time for my favorite television show. Oh, I love to sit and watch television. Sit in my old comfortable chair right here. Oh, I better turn on uh, my old television set. There. Okay. Yeah. Hi there, Bert. TV watching time, huh? Yeah, Ernie, it, it is. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you know, Ernie, I, uh, I always like to sit and uh, watch my favorite TV show there uh, in that chair. Yeah, I know, Bert. Yeah. Uh, Ernie? Can I sit in that chair now and uh, watch my... See, I was going to do that. Uh, no, I was going to sit in that chair. No, you see, Bert, you see, I'm sitting in here this time. Yeah, but I want to sit there, Ernie, and watch my favorite TV show. Well, see? you can sit here tomorrow, Bert, but I'm sitting here No, now. I don't want to sit there tomorrow, Ernie. I want to sit here today, see? Oh, uh, no, Bert. Yeah, yeah, mm -mm. I want to sit right here. You can't do it, Bert. No chance. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, Ernie, that's the way you're going to be about it. That's the way you're going to be about it, Ernie. Mm -hmm. All right. I just won't watch the old television. Just turn it off. There. So there. Hmm. Oh. Well, if you don't want to watch TV, I can watch it by myself. <laughs> oh ho! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a pretty good trick. Yeah, it was good, yeah. wasn't it, Ernie? Yeah, you pretended you were leaving the room, yeah. and then when I got up to turn on the television set, you sat down in the chair, huh? Yeah, would you, would you move out of the way, Ernie? Yeah, I don't Just mind move. moving out of the way, Bert. I'm trying to watch television. Because I don't want to watch television at all. Good, be you, quiet. Bert. I'd rather, matter of fact, I'm not going to watch at all. I'm just going to go and just watch out the window. Go away. Go watch do, the window. Bert. Good boy. Oh, okay, I'll just go over here and see what's happening out on Sesame Street. <gasps> Holy cow. Why? Why, there's an elephant on Sesame Street. Look at that. What? An, an elephant? Yes, an elephant on Sesame Street. Oh, you see an elephant? Yeah. Yeah, come take a uh, look. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Boy, I've never seen an elephant on Sesame Street before. I wonder, where's the elephant? Hey, Ernie, I can't see any elephant on Sesame Street. Are you sure? <laughs> Yourself. That was cute. Yeah, well, that was real funny to do to, do to me. Yeah, that was real good. Oh, thank you, Bert. All right, get out of the way. Oh, get out Bert? of the way. Come on, move. Now, wait a second. Move. Don't I'm gonna shove, sit in this Bert. Chair. Now, wait I'm a second. Because I was here no, first. You're, you're on my leg. Yeah, yeah well, Bert, get, get come on, get there. your leg out of my way. Come Just on, move. Don't... Watch hey, out, Bert. Ernie. Hey. Come on, what? Bert? What? You know what? What? Why, there's room for both of us in this chair. Look at that. It's a big chair. It'll hold both of us. Hey, you're right. We can both sit here and watch television. Hey, we can share the chair. Yeah, chair yeah. sharing. Chair huh? sharing. Okay. Hey, good. Okay, hey, this is this. Let's share it and watch television. Okay, good. Hey, you guys. Hmm? Something terrible happened. What's that? A dinosaur escaped from the museum and ran right into your bedroom. A dinosaur, a dinosaur in the bedroom? The bed. hey, oh, wait a second. Get I don't believe that. Get out of my bed. Let's see. Uh, 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 mm. hey. hey, there's no dinosaur. Ha oh, ha, on you guys. I got the best chair for TV watching. Hey, Bert. Yeah. Uh, that chair held two people. That chair held two people. You don't suppose? It can hold three. I bet it can. Okay, let's try. Okay. Come on, Harry, get out of the way. Ow. Move over. Come on, get out of the way, Move over. Then, there right. we go. Oh, you're on See? My Come on. This is a nice okay. big chair. Okay. We can share the chair. Ah, and there. there'll be room for all three of us. Right, right. Okay. okay. How's that? <laughs> Good. Much help, mm -hmm. Hey, Bert. Hmm? What are we watching? Well, uh, first of all, we're watching uh, my favorite rock and roll band here. And then the weather comes on. And then the wonderful world of pigeons. Shh.
Uh, real hemp, yeah. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet, and four to blow, five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand, Hooray for the octopus, one man band. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet and four to blow, five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand. Hooray for the octopus, one man band. See, everything's got a name, and everybody's got a name. What's your name? <laughs> you know, it's funny, but your name is something that nobody can take away from you. I mean, you can, you can have a penny, and you might lose it, or you can have a coat, and you might grow a little bit too big for it. But your name is with you no matter what, so you might as well be proud of it, right? Right? My name is David. That's a fine name. It's not your name, but it's fine just the same. I stand up tall and say it loudly. David is my name. 
Ah, uh, yes, it's my name, and I don't want to change it. It's my name, and I like it just fine. It's my name, and no one can take it. David's my name, and I'm proud that it's mine. Her name is Kim, that's a fine name. It's not my name, but it's fine just the same. So stand up tall and say it loudly. Kim is my name. Ah, uh, yes, it's my name, and I don't wanna change it. It's my name, and I like it real fine. It's my name, and no one can take it. It's my name, and I'm proud that it's mine. What's your name? Susan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your name is Susan. That's a fine name. It's not my name, but it's fine just the same. So stand up tall and say it loudly. Susan, Susan is my name. Your name is Gordon, that's a fine name. It's not my name, but it's fine just the same. So stand up tall and say it loudly. Oh, Gordon is my name. Oh, yeah, it's my name, and I don't want to change it. My name, and I like it real fine. My name, no one can take it. Gordon's my name, proud that it's mine. Kim is your name and you like it just fine. David's my name and I'm proud that it's mine. Today, I'm going to tell you about the letter R. R is for rooster and robber and rake. It's also for river and make no mistake. It's even for rowboat and rocks and for rain that causes the robber to go down the drain. Very well. What letter have we learned about today? R. Good heavens. A talking dog. Can you name this letter? If you said R, you were correct. Let's say R together now. Ready? R. Fine. Now, here's something that starts with the letter R. Do you know what this is? Here, let me help you to guess. Yes, it's a radio. Hmm, that's a nice tune. My ship has sails that a... Hey, everybody! Uh, this is your old pal Grover speaking. Oh, today we're going to have so much fun. Because this here is the letter R, and today we're going to talk about the letter R. Now, one word you can make with the letter R is the word roll. See, that's roll up there. R-O-L-L. -L. Yeah. Now the letter R is going to show us roll. Okay, R, roll for us. Oh, look at that. I am so proud of you. Oh, okay, now, the next word that the R is going to show us is the word rock. There it is, R-O-C-K, rock. Okay, R, rock for old Grover. Oh, very good, R. Oh, you're doing things so nicely, so good. Okay, now, the other word is the word Run! There it is, R-U-N. Okay, R, now show us run. Oh, come back, R, come back! Oh, I'm glad you're back. I missed you. Okay, R, now here's the real rough one. Here is the difficult one. You are now going to show us the word 
Rocket! Okay, R, show us the word rocket! That's ridiculous! R, rabbit! You know what it's time for right now? It's time for a game. Beginning, middle, and end game. I've got some pictures here. Let's see if we can figure out which one should be in the beginning, which one should be in the middle, and which one should be at the end. Now, the first picture shows four boys running. Second picture shows them, well, I think they're at the starting line, ready to, ready to start the race. And the third looks like somebody has won, has just crossed the finish line. Where do you think the beginning picture should go? Which one do you think it is, rather? I think probably it's uh, this one here when they're getting ready to start the race. There they are, all lined up, ready, waiting for somebody to say, go. I think probably that's the middle, isn't it? They're all in the middle of the race, running as hard as they can. And the ending would be when one of the boys runs over the finish line and wins. That's the beginning, middle, and end. Well, here we have another beginning, middle, and end game. And here's a little girl. She's raking leaves. And here's a little girl in bed. And this one, maybe she's getting in bed. Now, which would be the beginning, the middle, and the end? Well, let's make this one the beginning. Probably the beginning because she has an alarm clock. She's probably waking up. And let's make this one the middle. She's outside raking leaves. And let's make this one the end. She's going back to sleep. Day is over. The beginning, the middle, and the end. Hey, that's a nice one. Hi, I like that. Did you know that even the alphabet has a, a beginning, a middle, and an end? Yeah. Shall we find it? OK. Why don't you hold these? OK, I'll hold them. Now. First card I have starts with the letter I. Does the alphabet start with the letter I? No. I don't think so. No. Starts with the letter what? A. Of course. I've got it. You got it. OK. So the beginning of the alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now, the middle of the alphabet, R doesn't come after no. H. No. No, no. How about I? That sounds pretty good. The middle of the alphabet is I, J, K. L, M, N. O, P. Q. How about an ending? We need a big ending for the rest of this. OK, let's try. I think you've got it. I got it. Let's try the R. S, T. U, V, W. X, Y, y Z. Z. Hey. Beginning, middle, and the end. Even the alphabet has a beginning, middle, and end. Hey, you know, I've got another game. You, you hold these. Okay. Ah. Oh, you know what this is, don't you? Now, what word is that? Big. It's a big word. That's a big, big word. Okay, let's try middle, uh, I mean beginning, middle, and end. All right. Okay, now what's in the middle? I. Got that, right? Okay, now what's at the end? A G, right? That's right. Now, what's at the beginning? The beginning is the letter B. So that gives us the word big. That's a big, big word. OK. Oh, you know what else? What? Bet you know, this is part of the Ig family, isn't it? That's right. Right. And, and uh, the neat thing about the Ig family and all the other Igs and Ugs family is that all you have to do is change the first letter of the word, and you get a different word, right? That's right. Let's do it. OK. Change the first letter. Change it to a P. And then you have pig, P-I-G, the beginning middle and end of the egg family. That's right. 
Uh, oh, another letter. Another letter. An F. That's the word fig. Right. F I G. Fig. Got any more? Mm hmm. Okay. These are all rhyme words, you know. Oh. Fig, pig. Oh, right. that's right. All part of the ig family. Ah, now that's a D. How about that? That's a D. Dig this word. D <laughs> I G. That's right. The beginning, the, the middle, middle, and the end. end. All rhyme words, all part of the ig family. It's a good family. It really is. Go ahead. Now. No. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Don't dance. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Slower. L, M, what? I said slower. Well, L, M, N, O, P. Not that slow. Q, R, S, G, U, B. That's nice. W, S. Yes, ma'am. Too fast that time. Now, just in between the slow one and the fast one, and I think we've got it, child. I live on a pueblo in New Mexico. My name is James, and I'm a culture to the Indian. This is my mama. This is my daddy. I have two sisters. Christine in Georgia. My people have lived on this land for as long as anyone can remember. Sometimes it seems like the dogs want to go to school with us. Mr. Bonnet, with all the frith. <laughs> Hello there, son. What can I do for you today? Oh, hi. Uh, gee, I'd like to buy a new hat. A new hat? Of yeah. course you would. We'll just step right around the counter here. Okay. And let me help you. Let old Smiling Jack here help you, okay? Oh, good. Okay, there. Uh, let's see. Stand still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Good. Yeah. Okay, I got the just the cap for you right oh, here. Good. Here's the cap uh, for you. Just bend over. Perfect. 
Oh, look at that color. What? Nice blue color. Uh, now, turn around. There's a mirror uh, right behind you. Uh, now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? Uh, something's nice wrong. Nice line. Nice. It was, something's wrong, though. I heard you. You're right. Something is wrong. Let me see. Where'd you go? Right over here. Just turn uh, over here. Follow uh, my voice. Okay, uh... You don't want that hat. Did I give you this hat? Yeah. Oh, boy, why did I do that for you? Yeah, what you want you is another hat. Yeah. You want a yellow hat. There's the yellow hat. I, now, look at yourself in the mirror. Uh, it's right behind you. I, no. See? See? Nice yellow hat. Perfect fit. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. But that's not it. No. Oh, are you smart? You've got a keen eye. Good yeah. taste. Let me see that hat. Yeah. I gave you, you see, this hat, too, hat, didn't I? Yeah. Well, okay, don't because explain it to me. I that, sell hats. I know my business. Yeah. Okay, let me see now. Here's, uh, here's the hat you want. A yeah. yellow hat? No, I... But it has earmuffs. Now, I take but, it. It's the last one in the place. Uh, but, Just give me a dollar, please. Uh, it's too big. It's what? It's too big. That hat is too big? Yeah. I've been selling hats for many years, but okay, I'll try it on. I'll prove it to you. It's not too big. But... Okay, watch out. Look at this yeah. hat. Look at this. Just... Look how it fits. Isn't that beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's but... It's not too big. It's just right. Yeah, but... But or what? Well, gee whiz, you see, I've got a small head, and you've got a big head. Look in the mirror. Wait a minute. Well, look at that. My head is bigger than your head. Yeah, and you see, because I've got a small head, that hat is too big for me. Isn't that something? You're yeah. right. Although you... it looks pretty good on you. You don't want this hat, do you? No, I don't. Of course not. No. I want this hat. What? It's a beautiful fit. I'll take it. Thank you. Just charge uh, it, okay? But... My nice story you have here. Ah. Uh, you should get a hat yourself but, sometime. Mr. Ah. Uh, Well, it's time for my nap. You know, naps are nice things, especially if you've got a nice, big, soft, cuddly, fluffy pillow here, like I do. And I do. I'm so... <coughs> just climb into... <coughs> bed here. It sounded like the uh, the bell of a fire engine. Huh. Well, I'll go to the window and see if that was a fire engine blow. Ah, pillow. On second thought, ah. if it was the bell of the fire engine, I'd still be hearing it. So I guess it wasn't on a fire engine. So I can go back to <coughs> my nap again. <sighs> hmm. The bell again, the bell again. Maybe it was the telephone. The telephone. I will go answer the telephone. <laughs> oh, pillow. But if it was the telephone, ah. Bert would have answered it. So it wasn't the telephone, which means I can go back to my nap and my nice big, soft, fluffy pillow. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Uh, uh, 
the doorbell. The doorbell. It must be the doorbell. I will go answer the doorbell. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Bello. Bello. Nobody was at the door. <gasps> hey! What are you doing? What? What are you doing with my pillow? Oh, nice big cuddly soft pillow. I know it's a nice oh. big cuddly soft pillow, but that's my nice big cuddly soft pillow, and you gotta oh. give it back to me. I want the pillow. I want the pillow. Ah, oh, the pillow. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, the pillow. Okay, I, I tell you what. What? How about this? What? Suppose we share it. Share? You know, share. You know what that means? Oh, that, share. That means that means you take half and I take half. Oh. Okay. 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 I have half. Yeah. And you have half. Yeah, but... um, um, um. Oh, oh, what? Here's your half. Yeah, but... Oh, oh. Yeah, but... Oh, it's good. Eat, eat, eat. Yeah. Oh, good. But... Oh, boy. Oh, 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 pillow. Oh, pillow. Oh, fluffy. Oh, oh. How you like it? Oh, 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 good. Oh, hey, look. It's Alphabet Bates. Oh, yeah. Hey, Big Bird, well, wake up. up. It's Alphabet Bates. He's going to get a letter for us. Oh, wait. Let me see. Oh, no, no. Well, Big Bird, look up. I o't... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, look huh? up, Big, Big Bird. Big Bird, look up. Which way is up? Up, up, up there. Oh, up there. Up there. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know what letter it's going to be. I know what letter he's making. He's making a Z. Oh, oh wait. No, oh, you can't tell from me. Wait. Oh, no. It, I bet it's going to be a Z. No, no. Wait, now. Wait, no, that can't be. No, no, no. Wait, oh, that's a Z, oh, Z. Z. No, no, no. A Z. What a funny shaped Z. A P. A P. It's a P. I think it's a Z. No. It could still be if, if the plane went on. It could be a Z. It be a B, yeah. Yeah. You mean, oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Wait a second. It's an R. 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 Alphabet Bates made an R. You mean it's not a Z? No. No, it's not an R. I made another mistake. Oh, well, that's, that's all, all right. right. Yeah. Everyone makes mistakes. I've a special secret children ought to know. It's about the little mistakes you make as you begin to grow. If you make a mistake, you shouldn't start to cry. Mistakes are not so bad, and here is why. Oh, everyone makes mistakes, so yes, they do. Your sister and your brother and your dad and mother too. Big people, small people, matter of fact, all people. Everyone makes mistakes, so why can't you? If you make a mistake, kids, don't worry. If you make a mistake while well, counting up to ten, well, don't get sad and don't be mad, just start to count again. And if you should only get to eight or nine, I'm still your friend and I still like you fine. Cause everyone makes mistakes and yes they do. Your sister and your brother and your dad and mother too. Big people, small people, matter of fact, all people. Everyone makes mistakes, so why can't you? I've made a few mistakes myself. If you spill a glass of milk all over the floor, well, your mom and dad'll like you just as much as they did before Cause when mother and dad were just as small as you I'll bet that they knock their milk over too Cause everyone makes mistakes, so yes they do Your sister and your brother and your dad and mother too Big people, small people, matter of fact All people, everyone makes mistakes, so why can't you? If everyone in the whole wide world makes mistakes, then why can't you? Hey, You're right. Thank you. <laughs> this rip-roaring story of the race for the roses is brought to you by the letter R. The rickety railroad train is rolling into Rockwood Station. There they are. They're rolling down the ramp. Ragged Rabbit, Red Rooster, and Raving Rhinoceros. Today, we will have the race for the roses. The crowd is growing restless. The racers are ready. And they're up. They are rolling. Ragged Rabbit races ahead of the field. The crowd is roaring for Ragged Rabbit. Red Brewster and Raving Rhinoceros are trying their best to stay in the race. 
Look, Ragged Rabbit has quit the race. He is rolling into Mr. Robert's garden. The crowd is rising, Ragged Rabbit. Ragged Rabbit is digging roots and eating carrots in Mr. Robert's garden. We have two racers remaining, reaching for the roses. Red Rooster rolls ahead. Raving Rhinoceros is on the rail in the rear. Whoops, there goes Red Rooster, rolling off the raceway. It looks as if Red Rooster has found his roost. Now let's return to the race. Will Raving Rhinoceros reach the finish line? Will he finish? The people are standing and cheering. Raving Rhinoceros heads right for the big hour of roses. The winner, Raving Rhinoceros. He wins the race for the roses. When rabbits stop to dig roots and roosters quit to find their roost, Raving Rhinoceros can reap the reward of roses. Hey, this is the letter R. And the sound that the letter R makes is like this. It goes like that. That's the sound of the letter R. And the... Um, uh, I was uh, I was explaining to uh, 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 about the sound of the letter R here. Uh, um, uh, do you know what sound the letter R makes? <laughs> right. Now you know what I do for a living, right? I'm a teacher, and I work in the city, teaching the city school. So, when I go to work, I'm sort of dressed like this. Jacket on, wear a tie, you know, and carry a briefcase. Now, that's because, uh, you know, I have papers and things in here. If, if I were a farmer, worked on the farm, would I be dressed like this? No, I wouldn't be dressed like this. No, 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 no. Just take, for example, my shoes. Take a look at my shoes. See, would I wear shoes like this on a farm? Never. I'd be wearing a pair of shoes like these, good heavy work shoes. And I wouldn't be wearing pants like these. I wouldn't be wearing a jacket like this one. I wouldn't be wearing a tie and a shirt. No. I'd be wearing coveralls like these, you see? And a work shirt. And a kerchief here instead of a tie. And you know something else? If I were a farmer, I would not be carrying a briefcase like this one. I'd be holding a pitchfork like this one. But you know what? I'm not a farmer in the country after all. So I'm a teacher and I work in the city and this is the way I dress. Rabbits are so soft and white, their noses twitch, their eyes are bright. They like to eat and jump and play, and that's the way they spend their day. Here is a little pig, and others are quite big. Big or small, we like them all. A pig is a pig is a pig. Cows and calves eat hay, they'd never give it away. For sugar and spice and everything nice is never as nice as hay. A farm is a place that you should see, it's a very special place to be. Pigs and rabbits and chickens and cows, dogs that bark while cats meow. Have you ever been to a farm, held a baby pig in your arms, rode a tractor plow or played with a cow? Won't you come with us to the farm? Won't you come with us to the farm? Won't you come with us to the farm? musician I practice every day and people come from miles around just to hear me play my trumpet my trumpet they love to hear my trumpet ta ra ta ta ra ta 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 ra ta 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 I am a fine musician and I get lots of pay Cause people throw me pennies every time I play My tuba, my tuba, they love to hear my tuba Boom, ba, 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 ta ra ta ta ra ta ta ra ta 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 
fine musician, my music is so gay. Why people come from miles around just to hear me play. My trombone, my trombone, they love to hear my trombone. <laughs> We all are fine musicians, we practice every day. And if you'd like to play with us, we'll show you the way. Come join us, come join us, just take a part and join us. Hey, would everybody like to play sort of a singing game? Okay, well, listen carefully to the words of the song. Here are some things that belong together. Here are some things that are kind of the same. Here are some things that belong together. And now it's time to play our game. Okay? Now, look at these things over here. All right? Now, one of these things belongs with the others. See if you can guess which one. Guess which thing belongs with those others. Guess before my song is done. Okay? Everybody got it? Yeah, you, you see these three plates right here, all right? And you see what's on them, don't you? Okay. Now, let's, let's look over here at these three plates here. Okay? Everybody see? And you will note... Note that they're full of cookies, okay? All right. Now, let's look back over here. And everybody know the right answer, huh? You got it? Now, which one of these things goes with the others? You think that possibly this one might? Well, if you guessed that this thing belongs with the others, then you're absolutely right. Because... This plate right here is all full of cookies. And if you'll notice over here, these three plates here are indeed all full of cookies too. So therefore, this plate here would not go with them because this plate here only has one cookie on it. This plate over here would not go with those other three because this plate here is completely empty, you see. So this plate right here is indeed the correct answer because this plate here is all full of cookies just like these three plates over here used to be, except they're not now. Wait a minute. These plates are all empty. So I think I just told you the wrong answer, didn't I? Oh, well, let's see. What can we do now? So the full plate was not the correct answer. Um, I know. I know what we'll do. Let's just do the song again, okay? Hey, guys, let's do the song again. 
Okay. Well, this time when we play it, there'll be a new answer, right? Okay. Take a look at these. Right? Now, here are some things that belong together. Here are some things that are kind of the same. Here are some things that belong together. And now it's time to play our game again. Okay, now, now let's look at these three plates here, all right? Now one of these things belongs with the others. See if you can guess which one. Guess which of these things belongs with the others. Now guess before my song is done, okay? Everybody see? Now, you, you observe these three plates very carefully, right? And then you've also looked at these three plates right here, right? And you're thinking about the answer, okay? Notice these three empty plates, right? Okay, and over here, you think about which of these plates belongs over there, okay? Everybody know the answer? Okay, huh? Now, which one of these things goes with the others? Do you think that possibly this one might? Well, if you guessed that this thing belongs with the others, then you're absolutely right. Because, you see, this plate here is empty. And so that's the one that goes with the empty plates, because this plate here is full of cookies, so it doesn't go. This plate here has one cookie, so it doesn't go. But these three plates here, you see, this plate here is completely empty. This plate here is completely empty. And this plate right over there in the middle is also completely empty. So therefore, you can tell that these three are all empty plates. And so therefore, the correct answer is this, uh, this, these three here are also empty plates. Now they all belong together because these three are all empty plates. And then the, the other three empty plates over. Wait a second. You're eating the plates. I bet you also ate the cookies. You ate the cookies. You ate the cookies that didn't belong, the ones that belong together with the ones that didn't belong. So how can we explain which things belong together when you're eating the cookies that belong together and then you're eating the plates that belong together? How can we explain? We can't, we can't, friends, we can't explain which things belong together. But I can explain two things that don't belong together, and that's me and him. <laughs> My name is David. That's a fine name. It's not your name, but it's fine just the same. So stand up tall and say it loudly. David is my name. Ah, yes, it's my name, and I don't want to change it. It's my name, and I'm glad that it's mine. It's my name, and no one can take it. It's my name, and I'm proud that it's mine. OK. Goodbye. 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 Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter R and by the number four. <laughs> Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. <laughs>